Good morning everybody. This is uh, Greg here. This is the final reveal of the Tamiya T55 Enigma. A lovely kit. Really really nice kit. The only thing I don't like about it is the price. You know, for what you get it's pretty ex expensive. But luckily I picked this up under 30 quid which is quite rare to pick up for. But that's the only reason I got it. But as you can see it's uh, come out quite well. So the last update I did not put the tracks on and weathered them but they have now. Um, you can see the tracks. These are the uh, mini art ones and they really are quite nice tracks. Almost clipped together, a little bit of glue and they're really nice tracks. I think they're about eight, nine pound I think I paid for them. Something like that. It wasn't expensive. I thought we'll try them and uh, they worked. But to me the ones I got with the kit were okay but they were, just lacked a bit of depth I thought. Um, let, let's just zoom in a little bit and get a better a better picture but look at the actual tank itself. Yeah, so as I say, I've explained in the, in the other videos that how I did certain things, but this one I've worked with a lot more oils than I've worked with in any, in any other kit. And I think it's the way to go forward when weathering, I really do. You know, it's it's not hard to do. You know, I just take your time. This just took me nearly four weeks to build this. I've fair enough, I haven't been on it every day. It just took time, but uh, it was a really enjoyable build. It really was. Typical to me, falls together. Added a few extra things, the chain there, seeing one on a picture of the in the uh, Gulf War. Uh, added the, the pointy stick. Added the uh, wire for the lights, and I don't think you can quite make them out for the marker lights, and then on the side I put a wire running in the back of there to the lights. See, so all this street is this is all with oils. Um, and oh, DAC streaking for DAC vehicles as well. So it, it's come out really nice. The, uh, the gun cover, the uh, mantle cover there is just, um, I think it was khaki to start with. And obviously I've weathered it with oils and certain things and made it look a bit used. The machine gun again, I've lost one part off one side, don't know where it went to, but you, you can't tell. And that came out quite nice as well. You know, I've put like a blue tinge so that the camera can pick it up or not. There's actually a, a blue a blue hue on it using the, the um, you know these things from Tamiya. The burnt blue I've used. Yeah, they're quite nice just put on with the applicator. It's just quite nice to make uh, streaky marks and everything with them. They really are quite nice to work with. Some people don't like them, some people do. And uh, and one of the ones that do. Um, yeah, there's a lot of there's pigment in there, this, which is basically the uh, light sienna, just the dust and things that you can see in the crevices and things like that. And a bit of a lead pencil going on the edges of the uh, the tank, just to, you know, been through a bit of war. The rear panel, there was only that netting that they give you, so I had a photo etch that I bought for a T55. Sorry, the Tiran 5, uh, these fitted and this fitted, but nothing else would, so luckily this is a cover on something different on this one. Um, on the, let me just bring the turret around, a little touch. And on the fuel cans, again, there I've done the wiring for the fuel. From one fuel to the other and into the, uh, the main hull of the tank. Came out quite well, and the little figure, there's two figures. Um, one, I don't like him, and this was the other one. My friend Dave, Dave Boyson, gave me a, a kit, a, a nice figure as well for it. It's a resin figure, which I've primed and ready to go. Oh yeah, where's the camera? There we go. So David gave me this, which is nice of him. But he won't fit in the bloody in the driver's hatch, so. I can't use them, so I'll be on the next. That will be on the next uh, Russian build. But I seem to like my tanks just as a, just as an angle like that. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, the figure yeah, came out quite well. Started it off with the uh, desert uh, yellow again. Weathered him up. Let me just bring him in a bit. He's not bad. You know, a bit of a dark skin as I normally would be over there. 
So we're going to use a bit of oil work on the on the figure as well. He was supposed to be open binoculars, but I uh, accidentally stood on them and uh, broke them. So I tried to make him look as if he's holding on to the uh, the hatch, as I didn't have any spares in my spare box. But yeah, it's come out quite well. I was going to put it on a dio, so I'm going to leave that up to you people. Do you think it needs to go on a diorama or just as a standalone piece? I can sort of throw me your ideas about it. If you want to see with a bit of a diorama, I'll do it. If the winners say yes, then that's what I'll do. If not, it'll just stay on the uh, nice plinth. But yeah, very, very pleased with this one. I can't, uh, can't knock it apart from the price. Really did enjoy it. So these are... Um, I was going to do the thin uh, weld seams with using the sprue but I couldn't get them that thin I wanted the really really thin to go to, to for the weld marks so I didn't bother, I thought I'd ruin the kit if I did but I'm going to try it again and I'm going to build a shirt uh, after I've got the, uh, the kit I'm building now which will be on the an update of what's on the bench I'll be going to build my first Sherman so I'll be doing a few uh, weld seams along that as well I think uh, exhaust again that was just weathered with oils let me just zoom out again there we go but yeah generally impressive I like it quite I like it a lot I really do yeah so I'll just leave a comment and if you would like me to put it on a dio a small diorama or vignette or whatever you want to call them just say uh, and then I'll top them all up towards the end in a couple of weeks time and uh, see who wins so there we go thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it recommend it for a beginner as it most to me a kitchy can anyhow but uh, I, I don't know why I like this tank it's just the, it's just the shape I think the uh, with the armour, added armour to it, which was very crude apparently when they were built spaced armour and I think they used, because of all the armour on the front, I think they used this and this at the back as a counterbalance I've read that, I think, I think I've read that somewhere, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this part here, obviously protection as well but to counterbalance the, uh, the armour on the front Fuel cans at the back. I was going to, I've seen a few of them with different colours, uh, like blues and reds on the back, but I've just left them as they were because most of the pictures that I've seen of the actual vehicle they were either off or they were just the one colour. So I left it the one colour. I'd like to build it again, but if I can find another one at another cheap price, I probably will. And try another few different ideas I've got in the pipeline. But, uh, yeah, so I think that's about it really. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for following this uh, sort of build log over the last few weeks. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. I think we're shooting along now. I'm th nearly 380 now, I think. Something like 375. I can't really remember. Just said since 250 it's just gone silly. I'm picking three or four people up a day. So I'm going in the right direction. So thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for watching and we will be back, we'll be back soon with uh, an update of what's on the bench. So take care and we'll see you soon.